Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, French Jet Team announces North American Tour, DJI introduces M200 series drones, NASA finds batch of Earth-sized planets around a single star. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's February 28th and this is Airborne Unlimited. The Batouille de France, France's military jet demonstration team has released details on its ambitious six-week visit to the United States and Canada this spring. The team's first public appearance will be a photo mission with the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor as a backdrop on Saturday, March 25th. Two days later, on Monday, March 27th, the team will conduct a second photo mission in Washington, D.C. Among their other appearances, the team's first full demonstration will be at the Melbourne Air Show in Florida on April 1st and 2nd. The Batouille de France will also perform at Sun and Fun on Monday, April 3rd and Tuesday, April 4th before traveling to Kansas City, Missouri, where they will participate in a non-aerobatic flyover on April 5th and 6th. From there, the team will head back east to the Maxwell Air Force Base Air Show in Alabama, where on Saturday, April 8th and Sunday, April 9th, they will perform with the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. After a series of additional appearances, their last North American demonstration will take place April 30th at the wings over the Gatineau event in Gatineau, Quebec, before beginning the trip back to France on May 1st. After several days of breathless rumors, DJI has unveiled the new Matrice 200 and 210 drone series, purpose-built for professional users to perform aerial inspections and collect data. The M200 series folding body is easy to carry and easy to set up, with a weather and water resistant body ideal for field operations. It offers DJI's first upward facing gimbal mount, opening up the undersize of bridges, towers, and other structures to inspection. It's compatible with DJI's powerful X4S and X5S cameras, as well as the high powered Z30 zoom camera and the XT camera for thermal imaging. It has a forward-facing first-person view camera allowing a pilot and a camera operator to monitor separate images on dual controllers. Its safety features include obstacle avoidance sensors facing forward, up and down, and as well as an ADS-B receiver for advisory traffic information from nearby manned aircraft. With a self-heating dual battery setup, the M200 platform can fly for nearly 40 minutes with a mounted camera. The M200 series is designed for professionals using drones for more precise, efficient, and safe aerial data collection. Examples of industry applications include critical infrastructure inspections, energy facility inspections, construction site mapping, public safety, and a number of other heavy-duty missions. After the break, NASA discovers Earth-like planets. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope has revealed the first known system of seven Earth-sized planets around a single star. Three of these planets are firmly located in the habitable zone, the area around a planet star where a rocky planet is most likely to have liquid water. The discovery sets a new record for the greatest number of habitable zone planets found around a single star outside our solar system. All of these seven planets could have liquid water, key to life as we know it under the right atmospheric conditions, but the chances are highest with the three in the habitable zone. 
This discovery could be a significant piece in the puzzle of finding habitable environments, places that are conducive to life said Thomas Zerbuchen, Associate Administrator of the agency's Science Mission Directorate in Washington. Answering the question, are we alone, is a top science priority, and finding so many planets like these for the first time in the habitable zone is a remarkable step forward toward that goal. At about 40 light years from Earth, the system of planets is relatively close to us, in the constellation Aquarius. Located outside of our solar system, these planets are scientifically known as exoplanets. This exoplanet system is called TRAPPIST-1, named for the Transiting Planets and Planetesimal Small Telescope in Chile. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. HAI Heli Expo is where the global helicopter industry every year gathers to build professionals, networks, and solutions. 20,000 industry professionals with 700 plus exhibitors and 60 plus aircraft on display will be in Dallas March 6 through 9, 2017. ANN will be there to cover the event and will post daily updates here on Airborne Unlimited. The Airborne crew will be webcasting live from upcoming 2017 AEA Convention and Trade Show to be held in New Orleans March 13th through 16th, 2017. Primary live coverage will commence Monday, March 13th with the new product introduction series at 0830 Central Time and conclude at 1200 Central Time. ANN is introducing a new live viewing portal with much enhanced functionality including social media outreach and enhanced chat functions. Two more days of informative live programming will start Tuesday, March 14th at 1200 Central Time and return again on Wednesday, March 15th at 1300 Central Time. It's some of our most exciting programming of the year. You don't want to miss it. After these messages, the FAA UAS Symposium is open for registration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. On March 27th through 29th, 2017, the FAA and AUVSI are partnering to host the FAA UAS Symposium. This symposium will provide stakeholders with the opportunity to talk face-to-face -face with a cross-section of government and industry representatives about regulations, research, and other initiatives to integrate UAS into the national airspace system. The Fighting Black Lions of Strike Fighter Squadron 213 held an airborne change of command ceremony while stationed aboard aircraft carrier USS George H.W. Bush February 22nd. Commander Kevin E. Robb relieved Commander Douglas M. Langenberg as a commanding officer of VFA 213 during the ceremony. Rolls-Royce has won an order from Hawaiian Airlines for Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines to power additional Airbus A330 aircraft, supported by Rolls-Royce's engine service Total Care. The airline already operates 23 Rolls-Royce-powered A330s and has previously placed an order for six A330 NEO aircraft to be powered by Trent 7000 engines. The FAA has issued an SAIB following the collapse of the main landing gear on a Piper PA-23-250 airplane. The FAA has found that there is a potential airworthiness concern regarding a failure of the main landing gear drag link bolt, which can cause a main gear collapse. 
Fatigue cracking can develop at the midpoint of the bolt shank, which can result in the main gear collapse. NASA is partnering with eight U.S. companies to advance a small spacecraft and launch vehicle technologies that are likely to benefit both NASA and the commercial space market. These partnerships are the result of a solicitation release in August 2016 by NASA's Space Technology Mission Directorate, titled Utilizing Public-Private Partnerships to Advance Tipping Point Technologies. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The FAA has released an updated list of reports of potential encounters with unmanned aircraft systems. The latest data covers February through September of 2016. Reports of possible drone sightings to FAA air traffic facilities continue to increase during the past year. There were 1,274 such reports from February through September, compared with 874 for the same period in 2015. Although the data contains several reports of pilots claiming drone strikes on their aircraft, we must stress that to date, the FAA has not verified any collision between a civil aircraft and a civil drone. Not one, nada, zilch. Each investigation has found the reports to be either birds, impact with items such as wires and posts, or even structural failure not related to colliding with unmanned aircraft. Still, the FAA has been quite clear that operating drones around airplanes and helicopters is dangerous and illegal, even to the point of threatening stiff fines and criminal charges, including possible jail time for such infractions, and wants operators to know where it's legal to fly. To determine where unmanned aircraft can be flown safely, the FAA offers the Before You Fly app, which is available for iOS and Android smartphones. The app is free. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.